So, good evening, guys. It's Richard here, the tech chef. Tonight, we're going to open up a little box that I've been sent by a group of guys on Amazon called Start RC Drone Store. Um, it's a box that they've sent me uh, to do a review of. And uh, I've been eagerly awaiting this package. It only took uh, overnight to deliver. Uh, these guys have a, which is great. The guys contacted me a few days ago, asked me if I'd like to do a review of this product. And uh, to be honest with you, I can say that initially, when I first saw this product, I, uh, I was a little bit dubious as to whether or not I was actually going to do or actually wanted one. But I've been contacted to do the review and it would have been extremely rude to say no. So, yeah, here we go. Let's reveal what the box contains. And there's one box inside another box inside another box. And there you go. It's a Nirvana radio. The new Nirvana TX. Yeah, let's let's have a go and let's see what's in the box. So, to be honest with you, when I first saw this transmitter, I thought, hmm, this is a bit of a story of Cinderella. And uh, I'm not sure if the Nirvana was actually Cinderella or one of the ugly sisters. It's it's kind of I think it's one of those things like you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. And I'm going to keep a clear and objective mind about this and decide as we're going along as to whether or not I think it's a, a good radio or not. And I'm going to be pretty honest about it. I can really tell you that when I first saw it, it wasn't the, the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. And I considered it to be a fairly ugly thing. But here we are. And we've got one sitting in front of me. So let's have a go. So opening the box, as you can see, comes with this uh, beautiful holographic um, image of the transmitter with the foam backing a sheet of stickers and these stickers are pretty cool actually I shall definitely be using these nice colorful ones and I've got a place for probably all of them so yeah that's quite impressive very nicely done I will say one thing so far I'm really impressed I mean, even the the beautiful monogram on the top of the box is fairly, fairly impressive. Um, it's almost like opening a very high quality product from a very high quality manufacturer. A warning sheet, and on the warning sheet is basically just telling you to use 18650 line batteries. Uh, make sure to insert the batteries obviously properly unscrew the battery compartments both on their sides and we'll have a look at that as we're going on and obviously it's got it in Chinese too cool inside the box we have the transmitter wow didn't expect it to be that heavy um, yeah that's that's quite a surprise but before we get to the transmitter let's just have a look at the little box of accessories and we'll put the transmitter aside for a sec and let's have a go at what's in the box let's see where do we open the box? Right, there we go. Cool. So, again, very nicely packaged. Everything is in static sheets or static bags. Let's have a look what we have here. A mono phono jack. I guess if I'm just going to take a while, guess at what that's for. It's probably for a trainer port. It could be, I could be wrong. But in my experience, I'm guessing that's what that is. In bag number two are a couple of little M3 screws, stainless steel, and a set of brackets with a pin headers on it. So no prizes for guessing what that is. Um, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory, but we'll get into that when we actually start to assemble this and have a look at exactly what's in there or how the transmitter works. Bag number three 
is a micro USB charge cable, I'm guessing. And we all have hundreds of those lying about, so no surprises there. In bag number four is a little receiver. And I guess this is an iBus receiver, seeing that this is a FlySky product. The little receiver is quite small, um, probably about the size of the TBS Nano. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be pretty good from what I've heard and what I've read. Um, we'll obviously have to install this on a, a craft of sorts. And then we'll have a range checks and little distances and all that sort of stuff. The usual things that would be done. And on this little packet we have another receiver, slightly bigger. So I'm guessing this would be for a quad a little bit larger or an aeroplane or whatever we may choose to put this on. And in the little bag are three um, little UPEX connector antennas and obviously the cabling to sort to plug that all into a, a flight controller with <coughs> or sorry into a VTX with. Also in the box is a little quick start guide. Um, yeah, it's always neat when they put these in the thing, in a box to explain to you what goes where, which buttons and how, th how they named them. And obviously what each of those buttons is numbered and... Cool. Installation of the battery, binding with the FX8, that's obviously the little receivers. So that's quite neat. Powering on. The lanyard eye connector, which is obviously part of the transmitter. And the RF module adapter installation kit, which is that little kit that we were talking about. And that's going to allow us to use an external transmitter, such as the TBS uh, Micro or even the FR Sky 9M module. You can see by the pin headers that that's what that's intended for. And it's pretty great that they've made this part of, part of the installation. So we'll see how that all goes together. And obviously the rest is in Chinese. Um, my Chinese is not so great today, but maybe another day. In the meantime, I'm suitably impressed. I, um, I wasn't expecting to get all of that in the box. And it's very heartening. And pleasantly surprised. So let's just keep all that stuff in the box just so because I have a system in my home. It's called a black hole. Sometimes you put stuff down and you just can't find it again. So I'll leave that all in the box for now and then at some point in time we'll get back into that in the next video just to make sure that it all stays in one piece. I have a habit of losing stuff. If I showed you a wide angle view of my desk you'd understand why. Right so the box. Nicely formed um, plastic to keep the, the transmitter in place. Like I said, it was covered with foam to stop it from jolting around in the box. Beautiful little ribbon box. Listen, I'm, I'm so far I'm really impressed. I've got to say this is it's um, it's very high quality. Just the packing. So let's let's just take that start as you wish to finish. And if they packed it this well, then it's got to be a fairly decent product. Right. So on to the the main act. Wow, this, like I said, this is much heavier than I expected. Um, it's definitely much heavier than the Tyrannus X9D or the QX7 or any other transmitter that I own for that matter. And I've got a few of them. Um, so, let's see. Oh, hello baby. Right, so that little cover is quite neat. Obviously this is going to protect the gimbals and all the switches and buttons from any sort of damage. You can chuck it in your backpack and be quite happy that it'll be safe in the bag and these gimbals will be protected. So let's get onto the radio, first of all, first and foremost. It's got a little clear screen protector over the screen, which is great. I might leave that there for now um, until I start to mess around with it. The antenna for the internal module is folds very neatly into a nice little recess. So that's going to be completely protected. The Obviously that little rail that we saw will plug into here, but we'll get back into that in the next video when we actually start to assemble and reconfigure this thing to see how it all works and, and what goes where and how it fits together. But, so we've got two little joysticks 
on the upside here obviously the trim buttons for the two gimbals and enough buttons here to be pleasantly happy that you could fit or you could fly anything with this thing that has this is a 14 channel radio um, made by fly sky obviously very very nice quality the rubber form grips here on the side are are a pleasant surprise really nice this radio could quite easily be used for people that thumb or people that pinch obviously just simply by the way you hold the radio would determine whether or not you could fly it either way personally i'm a thumber so i could see myself being pretty happy flying it with anything that i've that i own right so let's unscrew those and inside these little pots here would fit the 1860 batteries 18650 batteries and if you give me a second or six I actually have some of them around and I will grab a couple and just I'll be back in a second right so we're back <clears throat> let's have a look all right so positive obviously goes upwards and screw in and again on the other side you can put two batteries in and the nice thing about these batteries is that they're hot swappable you can actually swap them out whilst the transmitter is turned off as long as you're only swapping one at a time out if one of them goes flat you can unscrew it and replace it with a fully charged one whilst the other one is plugged in so just reading through and listening to other people, the way to switch this transmitter on is to hold down both and there's that famous the voice that we love so much I believe that if you take these two screws out here you can get to the memory card which will be held underneath this um, lanyard harness here which is quite cool the throttle warning so let's turn there we go lovely and she's basically switched off so let's try again and switch on again cool so it's already got open tx loaded and it's about to switch off again it tells me these batteries are not fully charged but anyway for an unboxing we don't really have to go into much more than that other than to say that I'm super impressed with this transmitter to be honest in the next video I will go through the full menu system um, we'll go a little bit more into how the button configurations are, are set out and then we'll start to look at the OpenTX firmware which is on the radio and see what that can do but in the meantime, once again, thank you very much to the guys at Amazon for sending this down to me for a review. And in the follow-up and subsequent video series, we look at how to configure the radio, how to um, connect up the, either a TBS um, and or an R9. I have one of each. And we could have a, we could possibly do a a separate video for each one and show the, how to configure those as well as at some point in the very nearby future a flight video um, and then give you my thoughts on what I think the controller is like in your hands when you're flying but at the moment I can tell you I'm super impressed um, really really happy I take all my words back um, I was not going to look at uh, getting one of these um, and now that I have I'm pretty happy that I did I would quite happily go away and spend the money to buy one. So anybody out there so anybody out there who thinks it's ugly, it may not be the prettiest for some. I had my reservations. I mean at the end of the day it looks quite far fetched. It looks very toy if you looked at it in the pictures, but I can tell you now, and holding this in my hand, this is everything but a toy. This is in fact a very well manufactured very well designed and I hope a very transmitter 
So with that said, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like my videos, please, as always, like and subscribe. And let's look forward to the next video in the series where we'll go away and we'll start to configure and set this thing up. Thank you very much.